Real Agriculture's coverage of Agritechnica 2019 is brought to you by Bravant. Seed. Yield. Easy. Sean Haney here with Real Agriculture. We're at Agritechnica 2019 in Hanover, Germany, brought to you by Bravant. Right now we're with my friend from Fent, Stefan Bescheidel. How are you doing today, Stefan? Hi, thanks. I'm doing good. You too? Oh, fantastic. Okay, we're, we're going to look at Fent1 here. Uh, what is Fent1? Well, Fent1 is a system we created that is the new interface you will find on our tractors and you will find at home. So we try to merge the world that you will find on board on a tractor and the world you will find at home on your PC. Okay, cool. So is this in the cabs now or is this at a concept stage? No, this will be in the cabs from now on. Okay, let's take a closer look at what some of the features are. Right. So what, what can you see here? This is the half of Fent1 you will find at home on your computer, on your laptop, on your iPad, whatever. And first thing you will notice is it looks and behaves exactly the same way as the tractor terminal itself. So we completely merged the on and off board worlds. What do we have in here in terms of functionality? First, we have a lightweight machine and fleet management. If you click on it, you can see there is all my machines in. You have your tractors, you have your implements. And very important point, you also have uh, competitor machines in there because nobody actually has a pure fan fleet. Yeah, so it's, it's agnostic to what brands you have. Right. So you can input whatever machine. Of course, for fan machines, uh, the functionality is a little bit bigger than for the other ones because we receive more data, but you can manage all machines. Okay, next thing. Next, we have a team management where you have your team members in. I'm in this case the, the, the owner of... Um, uh, yeah, you're of you're the at the top of the totem pole there, I'm noticing. Right, I'm the farm owner in this case. But let's have a look at a driver, for instance. So this is Dennis, my driver. What you have in here uh, is details to the driver. You can set him as an admin or not, and you can set him as a seasonal worker, which who will be kicked out of the system after harvesting, for instance. And you do not create uh, lots of team members that are not actually there anymore. Important thing is you can set permissions for every team member, what is he allowed to see in the system and what not. For instance, I can manage my ACO finance contracts. So if I finance the machine with ACO finance, so, and maybe the, the driver is not allowed to see what was the price for my machine and you can simply lock certain elements, what is he allowed to see and what not. So now let's come to the actual functionality of the portal. So this was the lightweight management part. What is the functionality? We have two fo focus uh, functionalities in here. One is the field manager. What do we do in here? How do you get a set of field data from one tractor to another today? You would have to transfer it via USB stick, right? Which is quite a painful process to, uh, uh, to get an entire fleet to stay in sync with uh, the field data. What we have in here, if we look at the field manager, we see a master set of fields so if you enable the sync functionality on the new tractors, they will send all the field data to this system. You can do a one-time cleanup, and from there on, the entire fleet stays in sync real time. Not, not a lot of squares and rectangles in, on this farm. This is a lot of, lot of variable-shaped farms here. Yeah, of course. It's a German farm. <laughs> <laughs> so what you can see in here, what does a, a field data set consist of? You, you see you have a field boundary, you have multiple way lines, and you have an obstacle in here. So if a driver is now in this field operating a machine and he records a new wayline, it will be pushed to this system and directly pushed on to the entire fleet. So you don't have to worry about anymore how do I get a set of field data from one machine to another because this is done maintenance free in here. So from time to time you can have a look in here and say, okay, this wayline it's in the middle of the field, it's parallel to what's already there, it doesn't make sense can simply de delete the wayline and it will vanish from all machines in real time. So this way you get your entire fleet to stay in sync for field data uh, in real time. Okay? So now we have machines, we have a team and we have fields. What can we do with that? Here we created a very, very easy to use task management. Let's have a look at it. So if you click on create task, you will get um, a selection of what are you about to do. So let's take a simple one. Let's take I'm going uh, to do tillage. And you always will end up with this cross. This is the heart of, of our task management. You will select a machine, select an implement, select a driver and a field, and that's it. 
Now if you click on next, you can select a crop, which is not totally necessary for a tillage job. <laughs> Skip, have a last check, is everything right? Click on send task and that's it. Now the task is being sent to the machine and you will get a pop-up in the tractor terminal within your Variodoc menu, task received, and you can simply start it. And so, and so then the driver would be notified sitting there knowing, yeah. okay, this is where I'm going next. Yeah. He will get a pop-up in his tractor terminal, task received, and if he clicks on start task, uh, Variodoc will start to record everything he does in the field. What if I forgot my lunch? Can I send a task to somebody to go pick up my lunch? <laughs> no, this <laughs> is simply uh, the connection. This is important. This is not any notification. This is really sending an ISO XML task file to the tractor terminal. Okay, so now he's working in the field and we will get something back when he's finished doing the job in the field, right? Yep. So the task just uh, came back in. We get a notification. The driver has finished his job. We can have a look and go to task reports. What did we do with the tillage? So we can have a look at it. So now we get all the sum data. How much fuel did he consume? What was his total working area? His effective time, his ineffective time and so on. And we can look at it in the map. Where was he actually driving? And we can also visualize the data that uh, VarioDoc was recording in the field. Does it calculate, because you know how much fuel was burned, you know how long it took him, does it run any sort of like cost analysis based on like cost per acre of running those machines? No, because we don't do an accounting system here. You, what you can do in the task report, if we open it again, you have your task report here, you can download it as a one-pager PDF uh, report, or you can export it to a CSV file and import it in any accounting system you need for invoicing or whatever. You, but you've got the raw information there to make those kind of calculations. Right. Yeah. Okay. And we offer an export to import it in any accounting or invoicing system. Wow, very, very impressive. What was the uh, finance tab? Uh, in the finance tab, you have a simple overview of your echo finance contracts that are up and running. Okay. So we can have a look at there. So in this case, I have three machines with an echo finance contract that is still up and running. You can contact echo finance to get any questions answered and you can see what was the total purchasing price, how long is it uh, running, what is my monthly fee and so on. So this is a pure management function. Okay, cool. okay well, Stefan, th that is very, very impressive, very cool. So is, are you able to use this uh, obviously in the tractor, at home? This system runs on any computer, on any smart device. You are using it at home or in the tractor cab. As you see, creating a task uh, takes just a few seconds. Yeah. You can just put it on your iPad in the cab. And if you need, if weather is changing, you need to uh, change your plans and do something else. You can just quickly uh, create a task, send it to the machine, and you still have recorded everything you've done. Yeah. Stefan, thank you very much. This has been quite informative, and I congratulations on FENT1. Thank you.